Well guys, just backing up to my utility trailer. That's right. This is like one of the first in Farm Sim, and this is actually a public mod. And my boy Chandler, who is always DMing me on Facebook, uh, was the one who made this and stuff. I see it was like top five of Mod Hub. It's on Mod Network. So um, we're gonna use this, and the reason is is because of that case tractor over there, a case. 235 and you guys are probably like well dude squad yeah you already got a guard tractor man what you really need another one I'm like heck yeah brother so we're gonna get another one case international 235 but the thing is this has a three point so this and as a pto so it could be used for like a lot of different things around the farm clean up different things uh <laughs> like I, i'm trying to think of a smaller attachment that could go on it i don't really i can't think of one um but we'll find a use for it there's always a use once you buy something so um what we're gonna do is i think it'll fit on here now this is small i don't know how small these are in real life it's only a 35 horse so it's, it's almost like a it's almost like a yeah it, it is a garden tractor basically so i'm gonna unfold this wouldn't it be wouldn't it be sweet if kate oh no way so that's actually a jack i didn't even know the jack went up nice job chandler okay so i'm gonna lower this and then raise the jack of course Lower this all the way down, right, right there. This is a nice trailer. This is a solid trailer, man. So I'm gonna jump on the case now. The one thing I dislike, which I'm assuming you guys can tell already, is uh, there's no animation of a guy on here. It, it's fine, but it's just it's a little different. I guess if you do first person, it's all cool. So that's the only thing that's a little off here. Um, so I'm gonna have a mower on it. One thing I forgot to buy is rear weights. The reason is. Is because when you put that loader on this tractor is kind of a lot is is pretty front heavy so i gotta get some type of weight for the back of this um we want a small weight we don't do if we i wonder what it'd be like if we put a three point and just put a like I don't, is this 1800 pound weight Yeah, that'd be insane the three point probably couldn't lift it so i'm just gonna get the smallest weight possible case h red yeah there we go so then this will go on the back perfect this should work good. Uh, we'll get the loader on first, and then we'll get the rear weight. Because I'll, I'll show you guys why we need the rear weight. Now, I think this is a drive over deck. So I'm going to try driving over this. <laughs> there we go. So it's connected. Now, this isn't a side discharge deck. It's just... it. It's actually a deck that like makes the grass clippings disappear. So no grass clippings like come out of this. Like Once you mow it, they'll just disappear. And you can't like bail them up or anything. Let me connect this loader. Check this out. You see, you see, yes. So this is the issue we're having. It's kind of got the skid loader. Oh, dude, this is like messed up like the skid loader. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Yeah, this is like messed up like the skid loader. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Maybe we go no loader on this. There we go. We'll drop that. I got to figure out how to get this loader off of here though. Because the loader's making it so front heavy right now. So I got the loader off. Everything works good. Oh, I kind of want to have the loader. Okay, maybe what we'll do is we'll lift up the loader and just just toss it in the back of the truck. Now, I'll put the rear weight on. With this rear weight, this might be too heavy now. We'll see, I guess. But I'm excited to test this out. Our lawn actually needs mowed, so we're not going to be doing any harvesting today. It's going to be all about the utility tractor. Oh, yeah. You can tell there's a lot of... Oh, kind of. Just popping a little bit of wheelies. Once we go up this ramp, we might be popping some wheelies. Nice. Okay, right here. Uh, we can lower the weight, I guess, a little bit. Right there perfect i feel like i feel like okay yeah this trailer will be fine handling it but when i first saw this i was like man this is a this is a kind of a big old tractor but then once i bought it i was like okay this isn't that bad this isn't too big so what i'm gonna do is i know like i'm not that strong in real life but i'm just gonna put this in the back here oh shoot darn it <laughs> went through there okay we gotta oh shoot the hob was so yeah there we go we're good i'm gonna fold up that gate i think so I'm gonna set this just in the back here. Obviously it doesn't go on the tractor that good. Can I set it in the back? I think it'll do fine if I, darn it. Okay, that's fine for now. I know, I hate how it's not in there perfect. Okay, we're gonna take the high boy, head back to the farm. Also, I forgot to mention, if you guys wanna like know throughout the summer, you know, I don't have school. I have one more year left of school, but throughout the summer, I don't have school. So me and Spencer are always working on tons of different projects. Like literally today, he, uh, he bought a house and we went and took the four-wheeler and sprayed his whole yard because his yard is just, the house and yard is just crap. It's basically a fixer-upper house and so we sprayed all the weeds uh, with the four-wheeler. We thought that'd be a lot easier than like paying somebody to do it. So uh, we took that up there and then like we 
we just put it on our Instagram stories. You can either follow the squad Instagram or you can follow my Instagram, grant.hilbert, or you can follow both. But uh, I got a new truck on there too. I'll have a photo up on the squad Instagram soon. If you go to the squad story right now, you can see a picture of my new truck. I think you guys probably already know it's an F-250, uh, a 2017 F-250 power stroke. It's almost like this high boy, because these, these 2017 F-250s are so tall, it's insane how tall they are. And so since we're farming right now, a lot of people have been asking like, dude, when's the tournament going to be? I hear you're having a tournament. Can I join? So how the tournament's going to go and I, when is it going to be? I don't know yet. Hopefully like early June. And what it's going to be is we're going to have a lot of different, probably like five different teams of two on here is what I want to go with. So 10 people total. And I'll have a forum where you can, you can register if you want or like you fill out a survey and then we see your answers and then we pick 10 people out of there uh to join and come farm the tournament but usually it's people with a mic that are like older that obviously have play on pc but it gets fun when you have tournament the farming gets intense i like it now there should be a 9rt coming out by custom modding i think soon like in the next couple of hours from when i'm recording this and so what i'm gonna do is try to get the 9RT on here. We're gonna demo it. We're gonna test her out. Cause I've, I, I felt like this was coming out like a long time ago. And finally, I think I, I'm a Patreon on there. So I should be able to get it early. We can test out a John Deere 9RT. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be fun. It's basically like the 9R, but with tracks, obviously. Okay, you can see our lawn is like so overgrown here. So I'm gonna mow her down. Now I feel like I kind of just do the same thing. Like get a garden tractor. I love these garden tractors, don't get me wrong. But I just mow this same lawn, which is which is cool. Oh, the squad's got to get harvested in her sweet corn here. So I'll mow this a little bit, but I want to work in some other areas. Like maybe mow through the ditch. Maybe not the ditch with that tractor. Oh, dude, we could probably pull. We could probably pull the bush hog behind that. Maybe. I guess it's only 35 horse. But I'll clean up like along fence rows. Clean up like this messy area over here with the tractor. That's what I'm kind of planning on doing. Just clean up the farm with it a little bit. It's gonna get in some nasty tall grass. That's fine though. Just case she'll be able to handle her. So gates going down. We're gonna fire up the case. Now loader. I'm gonna attach this loader, but it's gonna be a holy crap. Oh man. This loader is just a mess. Once I get off the trailer, I'm dropping this loader. Uh drop her off. Oh come on. Okay, so what I gotta do is lower it to the ground. There we go. Loader's off. Perfect. Now I should probably put the rear weight somewhere else. Probably shouldn't just drop in the grass there. Rear weight will just go. Well, we can put her inside here. So I guess I have two garden tractors. Should I keep? Oh, can we get up here? There we go. Should I keep the Alice Chalmers wherever that is? I think that was actually used to do chores. Or should we keep the case? I guess I could probably keep both. I probably should keep both because I'll make more people happy by keeping both. So in ethics. If you can make more people happy, you do the decision that makes more people happy. I think it's called util utilitarianism, I think. Maybe not. It's some it's some 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 ethical rule like that. So, I think we'll keep both. Um what I'm going to do is drag this loader because right now our loader tractor can't even handle it. So, I'm going to move this up here. And then we'll probably knock out the front yard but I won't knock out the back yet. Then we'll just move to something else. I just want to see how this does because the grass is like so tall right now. Even like after this, I have to go mow out at our, out at our farm slash like little acreage. Uh, and like when I'm mowing, I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll post a couple stories of the zero turn. We got John Deere Z930, uh, John Deere Z930 60 inch deck uh, zero turn mower. So I got to spend a couple hours out, hours out there at night mowing and weeding. Oh shoot. We're gonna lower. The, okay, probably a good idea to lower the deck. But yeah, I'll like post a couple, a couple uh, stories on uh, the squad Instagram over there. So if you guys want to go give the squad Instagram a follow, highly recommend you do. Now I gotta figure out how to get these blades to work. So if I hit, there we go. Probably gotta drop the deck. Nice. Now I saw Daggerwind made a video with this. I didn't watch what it was, but I should probably go watch what he, what he did. I saw in his thumbnail he made a video with this. So I got, I should go check it out. I know da I've seen some of Daggerwind Extras videos, and he loves his garden tractors. Don't get me wrong. I love my garden tractors. I love my mowers. But that dude loves them. That's cool, though. 
Okay, uh, I don't want to take out some corn, but I think we're almost taking out some corn. Now, I'm going to do a lap around here. Oh, shoot. Okay, holy crap. We're getting some cement mowed down in there. But uh, I probably won't mow the whole backyard. Oh, dude, this is like, this is cool. <laughs> look, at, look at that cut we're making. Holy crap, this is like, how tall is this probably? Like two feet? Two feet long grass? It's kind of cool. Okay, let's get the front knocked out. Let's just get, let, yeah. Let's focus on something, get her done. It'd be kind of cool if you had the dude animation on there, but it's okay. Wow. It's kind of fun knocking, like I always say in mowing videos, like it's super fun when you're mowing like really tall grass. Your blades not might, might not be having fun, but it is fun for you, the operator. Dude, that'd be so cool if I could knock out these bushes. Oh yeah, when I was a kid, and still to this day, I enjoy mowing, right? But when I was a kid, I remember I'd go up to my grandma's farm, two hours away, and just sit, she had a like a 90s John Deere, like F910 or F911, it was a front deck mower, it was a deer, and, uh, and I remember if I was there for like a week over the summer, I would mow her lawn, like, two or three times during that week, like I just loved mowing. My uncle would like come around and be like, what? He was probably like, what the heck? Why is this kid mowing it when he just mowed it like two days ago? But I just loved mowing, man. I loved operating that mower. Okay, so most of the front yard's done. That looks so much better now that it's cut. <laughs> the case is doing good. I wonder if this Case International 235 is a diesel, though. I'm assuming it... Huh, maybe not. I just... From the exhaust, I thought, you know, it's probably a diesel, but this might not be. Who knows? I'm going to back up. I'd like to try it on uh, some type of like three-point implement. And I'm trying to think of a three-point implement that would work good on this. I just don't know of one that would work like really good. We could, if you guys want me to, I could try a bush hog. Wouldn't be bad. Okay, front yard is complete besides... We have the... Is that diesel? Can't tell. Kind of sounds like it, but we need to weed eat like around here. I don't know. Is there a weed eater yet for FS19? I think I've asked this so many times. Um, but like some of these areas, I could probably get with a mower, but I'll probably weed eat them. Uh, we got, huh. I kind of want to knock this stuff down through here. Um, I would like to mow the ditches, but actually our mower, I'm pretty sure our mowers like way over here. Pretty sure it's at, uh, yeah, it is. No, maybe not. I'm trying to think where our mower is. The Alice Chalmers. But I was just going to kind of go along the ditch. Most of this. I don't know if I'll get deep in the ditch. I think the case can handle her. But we'll see. I need to knock out this yet too. She's got hazards. She's street legal. Go around the mailbox. Oh, okay. So I'm not going to have access to this land. I hate when this happens. So it doesn't allow me to like mow some of this. But through here, we should be able to mow this. There we go. Pretty much what I'm going to do. Pull forward. Back up. Pull forward. Back up. I probably won't even turn around. Even though... Yeah, we'll just take the weed ear around there. It's getting kind of thick through here. Now, some guy had a skid loader. There's been a couple mowers out. And a couple of you guys have DM'd me on Instagram of some of the mowers that will cut down... I should probably turn these off because it's going to annoy somebody. But some of the mowers that will cut down these bushes. And so I need to go and purchase and uh or not purchase but download the mod that mows down bushes it's just a couple of people send me in i tried one and one did i couldn't get it to work so then i've kind of like gave up on it but i should try somebody i know a couple of people have dm me uh about some mods that will mow bushes now that's pretty much clean i don't want to really get down here because that's like it's like brush hog stuff especially those bushes for right now we got most we could it's it's kind of dangerous down there it seems like so what i'll do is I want to try just one attachment. I don't know what attachment, but I want to, do I have any three point implement that would like somewhat be realistic for this? Grain cart? <laughs> Dude, should I try it? I think that would be sweet just to test. I, I, I apologize for the unrealism, for the, or for the unrealistic thing I'm about to do, but let's try her. I wonder how this is gonna work. So it's actually got corn in it. 
This thing's probably gonna be popping wheelies. There we go. Speaking of my grandma, when I was always at my grandma's over the summer, she had a mule. She had a mule, like Kawasaki mule, just like a gator. And I was always wondering, like I always saw these big gravity wagons out there, and I was always wondering, like, hey, I was like thinking in my head, like, we should uh we should hook up the mule to the two gravity wagons and see if it'll pull it. Like, I don't know. I was just always like I always wanted to try it. So this is kinda not really the same, but <laughs> A small little case. We'll she see what she has. Deer was able to pull her, so hopefully the case can. Otherwise, case sucks. That's a joke. Um. <laughs> Dude, no way. Oh my gosh. Should this be the thumbnail? I feel like it could be a really cool. That that's kind of cool. Let's make this the thumbnail. I think that's kind of realistic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Okay, here. Where's the semi at? What? My semi should be... There it is. Okay, let's unload this corner in the semi. I'll, I'll pull the semi up here. This is going to be like world record. Oh, dude, what? We got the animation of the dude, too. No way. So that's cool. So when I'm... So when I... Oh. Oh. So when you zoom out far, you have the animation of the dude. How close can you get? Oh, so right there is a the cutoff point. Yep. Right there's a cutoff point. Ha! Huh, this is cool. Okay, so I'm gonna unfold this. Do we have a tarp? We do have a tarp. So I'll undo the tarp. There we go. I wonder in real life, could the auger, could the PTO, obviously this is probably a thousand PTO, and this is probably 540, so it it probably wouldn't fit on. But I wonder if a, a kit, maybe if you're running this thing full RPM, it could just barely pump out. It could probably turn the auger. Yeah. Probably could. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the semi underneath. We're gonna unload the grain cart with our Case International T35. She's unloading. There we go. Oh, listen to that. You can hear it running like full throttle. Oh, and the PTO's like shaking. <laughs> no way. This is actually pretty cool. Dude, it's like running full throttle. Oh, that's that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat actually. Okay, so it's going to be empty soon. Oh, maybe not. It's going to take a while to unload. Oh, wow, dude. This is actually really cool. Yeah, it's running like full throttle. I don't even think when I turn the blades on, I don't think I heard it running this fast. Pretty neat. Yep, and there she goes. So it, you saw it back off on the throttle. Now it's just in an idle when, uh, when we're full. Do we have corn left in here? We don't. Perfect. So I'll fold up the auger. Hydraulics on this thing. Wow. This actually worked. Perfect. There we go. Kenworth is somewhat full. We'll just put the tarp on her. Work her out here. Now, next farming episode, well, most likely, we got to, oh, we got to feel the beans yet that I got to harvest. We got a couple strips of corn, and then we're done for harvest. Maybe some custom harvesting. I'm not sure yet, but this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, mainly featuring Case International. 235 and thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys later thanks guys